I'm Kat Timpf with National Review. A school district in Northern California may remove a mural of George Washington from George Washington High School over concerns that it, quote, traumatizes students and community members. A group created by the school district concluded that the artwork might be upsetting to Native Americans and African Americans. According to the Richmond District blog, two of the 13 panels in particular were criticized. One showing Washington gesturing towards a group of explorers who are passing by the body of a gray figure, which is apparently a dead Native American, and another showing Washington next to slaves, performing manual labor. Those are obviously disturbing scenes, but context is important. Historian Fergus M. Bordwich wrote in the Wall Street Journal, the mural's painter included those images not to glorify Washington, but rather to provoke a nuanced evaluation of his legacy. In other words, the intention of the mural was not to celebrate the problematic aspects of Washington's legacy. No, it depicted horrifying things to point out the very real truth that the man we so often honor was responsible for some things that were the opposite of honorable. The question that remains is, how do we handle our historical tragedies? Do we expose them or do we pretend they never happened? Now, I fully understand that as a white person, I have absolutely no idea what it would be like to be a member of the African American or Native American community and view this mural. So I'm asking, how do we handle the tragedies of the past? I've repeatedly heard from people on the left that the history of George Washington and the Founding Fathers is too often whitewashed and that that causes pain. Now I'm hearing that an art piece with the intention of combating that trend is offensive as well? How should we handle the past? I'm listening.